WTFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of a very pleasant weather, Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update. We've got a sea of green out there. All the sectors with inside the S&P 500, they're trading the upside, as are all the U.S. indices out there. Dow's up 339, S&P 32, NASDAQ 100, 168, Russell's up 31, Semi's up over 3%, 162-point move there. Trading's up 173, that's over 1%. Gold's up 17 bucks, silver's off 7 cents, light tree crude up a buck uh, off a buck 79 natural gas down two cents 30 of treasury for now to 118.21 that's off five ticks let's figure out what all that means by looking at that nine panel market update chart new all-time highs when we take a look at the es mini no topping pattern there is a roads momentum indicator signal present that just requires a bearish reversal canada confirm a top we take a look at spot volatility and it's it's uh, now broken through all kinds of trend lines it's down below its lower bollinger band reading out here the point is that it's below its 50-day exponential moving average and that bodes well for the s p 500 the nq has actually taken out a seventh wave top so i'm going to go ahead and get rid of that it no longer has a topping pattern that is in play but it is still dealing with that swing point and you need to see a close above that swing point here, 18,691 and a quarter in order for it to join the party. If we take a look at the U.S. dollar index, it may have formed the C point yesterday of an A to B equals CDT upside. The only way we'll know that is a close above 103.81. It's always hard to identify where that C point would be. The reason why I throw that out here now is because price pulled right back to the top of that daily profile. So we may be looking at A to B equals CDT upside. In fact, if we are, well, then we're getting a signal here from gold to prepare for a pullback for a reach. Tracement. Gold has failed so far to take out its TD nine count top. That's at the uh, 2203 level, and it's actually triggered wave number seven today. That requires a lower high out there. Be careful with regard to Goldilocks. Silver just consolidating with inside its daily profile resistance at 2551, support at 2436. If we take a look at light speed crude. Trading with inside its daily profile. It does have a sell the D point pattern. It's testing profile support at 80.44. A close below that should bring 79.11 into the mix. The uh, natural gas contract still retains its buy the D point patterns. It's got really two of them out there. Doesn't matter. It has not gotten any traction. In order for this to tell us that that's a bottom, we need to see a close back inside its profile. That would require a move up to 1.922. And the 30 year treasury, it rejected its swing point high, but it just can't get get much traction here today not a real clear signal as to what its intent is folks stay tuned for the traders ed show but if you're off to start your thursday have a terrific one hey join me tomorrow morning early i'll be recording my show between eight and nine take care folks we'll see you soon